to the latest edition of the podcast. We had a bit of a week off last week, but we're excited to be back. Uh, as always, I'm joined by my good friend, Night Captain, Mr. Jordan Buller, and to my left, the newly elected Mayor of Perth, uh, Ben Mark Gaffney. So, uh, welcome. Yeah, thanks for the <laughs> Um, yeah, so we obviously apologised last week for missing out. Um, we uh, had technical difficulties, which kind of, well, we just a bit tired really for the weather, the weather facilities and the genius had that and the deck in the Every week's technical difficulty, <laughs> difficulty though, isn't it? That's right. Jesus. <laughs> is that not? jokes at the end. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you, Sarah. Um, but yeah, it's great to be back, and um, we're going to really wrap up two rounds very quickly, just to give a few more. <laughs> a few more. I promise we did pay for those red frogs, hang on, I think it's watching, by the way. Um, so yeah, we'll go through some rounds quickly, but otherwise, gents, how have we been this week? Have we had a good week, or a good couple of weeks? Good couple of weeks, yeah. We need a snappy title for the podcast for this week, but we don't have any planned. Any ideas? Uh, no, brilliant. It'll, it'll pop up it'll, here. Uh, that's it's post corner. That's top corner. Post corner. Post top corner. Preparation spot on as always, fellas. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it that. We'll call it that. It does feel good. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so, because we missed last week. We do have to wrap up a round of results very quickly, um, which was the Claremont uh, round. Uh, so, a bit of a change to height of the club uh, with a wedding going on, which was a fantastic day for Mount oh, Caitlin. Um, unfortunately, A grade came second up at Criswell, uh, chasing 264, uh, falling about 40 runs short, but above 222. Uh, Giant Bailey with 50s, but <coughs> sadly uh, coming second on the day. So, Second. Uh, well, so from prior podcasts, boys, we've had some feedback that again, my review <laughs> has gone on a bit long, so we'll keep it short this week, don't worry. Fremantle 6 for 230 beat Clem on 179. <laughs> your explanation was longer than your review, <laughs> but it was great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Any performances of that? Brilliant. Oh, Clearly, the threes and fours get on. Lockie uh, Oni, well, not 50. Yeah. Uh, Lockie made 50, about the world, then Caleb Smith, 44 at the end, and. Um, Callum Kay, 40. Yeah. He did, yeah. And then Jacob Headland, 3 for 30. Hutto, 2 for 15. And Robbie's captain, 7 0s, 1 for 16. Very economical. Did a good job, Robbie, in his first game as captain, so. He should have done this week, I reckon. Yeah, absolutely. He should have just it. Don't change your winning formula. Yeah. So if you're listening, oh. Robbie, I've had you we, down we're to back in your suite. Absolutely. Yeah. Threes and fours, Mike? Threes and fours, um, once again, go through it very quickly. Um, both had really, really good wins um, with a lot of changes, a lot of young kids really stepped up. And the old brigade really stepped up as well. Um, you won't be doing many step ups now, though, will really. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, Grant did pull a calf, so he will not be doing many step ups. How did, very, how, very well done. How, how did he pull a calf? Uh, uh, so I'm told my mail is that he was celebrating or appealing he very, very it, it vigorously. Wasn't, it wasn't even celebrating. It jumped in the air and it, he heard a pop. Um, so Robbie, who had finished his game a couple of hours earlier and was enjoying the uh, what you do after a game, um, had to go out the field again, wide up, get out there. I took a catch, so he did really well, <laughs> did really well for the fours there. Um, but uh, massive congratulations to Sean Fox for a uh, hundred for the club in his first game, um, and also to Bernie, yeah. Bernie for a uh, for hundred down in the fours as well. Um, and Andrew Morrissey took five five in the fours, so I think that was his first senior game for Fremantle as yeah. well. Um, and Aaron Beecroft chipped in with uh, I think a sixty or a seventy in the threes, so. Um, yeah, a couple of top performances for two wins in the lower grades. Yeah, three out of four games came out on a, a weekend where we lost a lot of players. It was an amazing achievement, so well done everybody involved. Uh, so this round, we are halfway through this round. We've uh, taken on Rocky Ham, so the ones and the threes had a lovely short trip down the road to, uh, to Lark, Lark Hill. So, a grade, halfway through their game, uh, 
Free roll ball outside of 208. Uh, Jeff, 41. It's the second game of A great cricket. Kate it's well. Simo for a massive ball. Did yeah. I did it's see him in the sixes, yeah. So that was, well, I mean, we were on the other ground, like, watching through that. That was exciting <laughs> to watch. And uh, Caden, 39 as well, that's it very well. And uh, Rockham in reply, 2 for 29, uh, with Sammy and Charles taking wickets, with a real sort of exciting finish, including one of the all-time LBWs to finish the game, uh, to finish the day off, sorry. Uh, so that's one, that game is very delicately paused. I think with the history of the wicket down there, batting second might be a bit harder, don't you think? Yes. With the second week of the game, though, would that make yeah. that much of a difference? Yeah. It has in the past, hasn't it? Yeah. Second innings on the next week, though, like if it was the same day, it would do. We could use the same wicket, though. You have to use the same Yeah, yeah. That's why I understand tear. that. It's and that wear and tear. Are we sorting out like the laws of cricket? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. But it's with a week of preparation, it's not going to be that tired. Well, is yeah, it? I reckon it will be. Yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd be tired after a week of preparation. <laughs> preparation does <laughs> feel good. <laughs> How'd the twos go? Weekend. <laughs> um, Joy. <laughs> so the twos won the toss and bat first? Yeah, won the toss and bat first. <laughs> Um, and Jack 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 <laughs> is our new Facebook name. That's Jack Kamala for those interested. Yeah, it's made a fantastic trip. Um, first second grade hundred, I think. Um, don't quote me on that. But Sean Fox came up and made a good number twenty odd. Maury batted for a long time for another twenty odd as well. Um, we finished off two twenty seven. Off with about four or five to go, so we did get the chance to bowl. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, got this dude. Yeah. Um, and in reply, we lost three overs and Chow with the wicket, so uh, putting Rockingham under pressure there, so I think we're on top of that one. Good <laughs> stuff. Well, <laughs> so the three to four's report wasn't that good enough. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a delay. Um, so, thank you, John, for that two's report. That was very important. We now cross to our threes and fours report. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the threes were in a bit of trouble early. Um, we were three down at lunch and then, you know, just lost too many wickets in the middle of session. Uh, ended up a uh, rear guard action, got, got to 150, and I thought very defendable. Um, and with Light playing a bit of a factor. We managed to take five wickets in the in the evening, um, thanks to some some good uh, spin bowling from Jordan Buller here. Um, one for none off two did very well. Um, so they're five for forty one. So um, pretty good position there at the end of the day. Um, and in the fours, um, well, it was just an utter domination, uh, really. Bowled them out for 90 odd, and I think they're declared overnight at. Or oh, I don't know if they've declared. I might be. Giving, I might be giving up. Shut up, mouse. Scrap that part. Um, they may bat on. Who knows? Um, but they're about 100 in front already on uh, day one. So very well done. And Bernie, another 100. So uh, back to back 100. Yeah. Yeah. And Terry, six for as well. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, very well. Playing, playing for six or 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is me as well. Well, I was going to talk about my favourite bit of the third grade game of the weekend mm. was the uh, new ball spell oh, from their young, <laughs> oh. <laughs> their young kid who ran in and just bumped Jordan for the entire <laughs> session. He's got to learn who he's bowling to, doesn't he? Honestly. Well, well, at, least, you, at least he got off you. Know, did you score? It's a, it's a free dot ball though, isn't it? Look on that far in my head. That's a very good question. Yeah, I'm sure and it's right. something that you're going to bring up in the captain's report this week. Don't show up and again. <laughs> we can't give away too much. Right. Not that I want to interrupt your dinner. Sure. But we do have to move on to the lower grade hero. Some people think that we are not a professional in our fair. <laughs> I, where did we go for that? I mean, we are still recording. Yeah. Like, I hate to say this, I mean, but we are still recording. 
Yeah. Yeah. I reckon more he's editing, he's going to be like, yeah. Oh. So what are we on lower grade hero? Yeah, why Everyone's not? Everyone's favourite section. Oh, no. <laughs> Which, and dare I say it, I've spilled dipping sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, dare I say it, the Midas Touch, the World Great <laughs> Hero of the, the Week, the Doug Stewart Award has the Midas Touch at the moment. So, uh, who, well, week one, we went over, um, we didn't give votes out, but we discussed uh, Wiggers as a mm. potential for the votes. And now he is winning games of A grade for him. He's probably doing yeah, the yeah. Ollie Cooley. And getting interviews on Sport FM. Yes. And getting interviews on Sport, Sport FM. Sport FM are piggybacking off our... Oh, uh, no, we did a lot of work. Unbelievable. We um, unearthed these gems. Uh, Ethan Beattie scored about 200 runs for the season already. Um, uh, Joomla, they're getting their microcrit scores in. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we have the Midas touch. So, um, this week, the one vote goes to a team that I reckon had 11 Richmond supporters. So it was grand final week last week. Oh, um, that's, that's and right. And there's a few Richmond supporters from floating around Willerton, as it's well known. <laughs> um, and so they, they were in a bit of a hurry to get to the start of the game at the pub with their mates. Um, and they've bowled Mount Lawley up for, I think, 98, and then chased it in 18 overs. <laughs> um, so one down. So, I mean, kudos to them. It deserves a I don't think they batted more than 20 overs in a single one day yet in the whole competition. Like, I think they chased everything down. I think the first team chased down like 12 overs as well. That's just ominous for the rest of the comp. Yeah. White ball players, really, but with a red ball. <laughs> Um, two, two votes. votes. Premier shifts are one in August. Two votes. October. October. Moving on. Um, we've got. We mentioned him up. The, mentioned him at the top, but um, he had one hit in the last. I don't know what was it. Two years or oh, no, longer. longer. Yeah. Um, and he came down and hit one of the finest hundred and thirties that most people have seen for a while. So. Sean Vox for just um, making a mockery of everyone else that plays threes and fours that actually have to train and put in pre season. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff <tough> you. <laughs> uh, so, well done. Two votes to Sean Fox for uh, that performance. Um, and three votes goes to. We got a bit of mail for this one. So, this is what we want. We want, we want people texting in and letting us know what they see out, out, out on the ground. So, um, this was in the Willerton game. Um, so who was batting? Do you remember who was batting? I do remember. It's friend of the show, actually. Was it Becker? Yeah, it was. So it was Cam, Cam Becker batting. Was that the threes or the fours? It would be fours. Fours? <laughs> 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 no, he's a friend of the show, so that's fine. <laughs> um, so, uh, spinners bowled a no ball, for starters. I mean, like, why are you bowling no balls? You're a spinner. Well, the front foot one. Uh, do you always bowl the stumps? Maybe he kicked the stumps. Maybe the captain had to be out. Three so, on the side. So, um, no ball, one day, so he's got a free hit. Um, Spinner's collected himself and uh, come down, sent a pretty good ball down. Beck has tried to hit it into leaning chicken tree. This is sushi. Big slog sweep. He's been wrapped on the pads, and to his utter disbelief, 11 Mount Lawley blokes in unison. <laughs> Must have been very convincing because the umpires <laughs> <got straight. laughs> and they all start celebrating and, and Becca's sitting there going, oh, I'm missing something here. <laughs> it's a free hit, right? And the umpires realised it, realised his mistake and called him back. But um, for a bloke to be given out LBW of a free hit. <coughs> I mean, deserving three votes. That is, as, as deserving as you'll get this So season. well done to Becca. I can't wait. The Wilson Fours, well, the Wilson Fours are doing very well this year. Jesus. In the uh, lower green era. And again, if you do have anything that happens in any of your games, if you're watching from any other club, yeah, yeah. give us a shout, let us know. We're more than happy to feature uh, whatever happens. If you can get video or photos of it, even better. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what are you saying? What was that? Get your um, videos in. Because we love seeing them. We love the content. And we love the interaction from the other plush. Um, thank you, Bella. Excellent. No worries. Mate. Excellent. Excellent. Um, we move on to our tipping competition. Now, obviously, this is going to change up a little bit, but we'll let Jordan explain. Well, as we've yeah, missed our, um, as we missed uh, last week's forecast, we're in the middle of the game. So what I'm going to do is start tip them, man. Oh, sorry. Well, no. See, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing. Who knows? I hate sports day too. Yeah, right. B, I'm going to choose the closest couple of games from the weekend for us to do live on air. But you know how we usually do all nine anyway? Like, are we yeah. still going to do that? Even yeah. 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 Okay, so there's two I've picked, right? So speaking, they come up a lot tonight and in previous podcasts, podcasts, but Williton are playing Joondal up at home, but Joondal up have made 8 for 2.30. Are you sure that might be a progress scoring on them? Yeah. <laughs> no, Sorry, it's, at Will it's at Willerton. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that'd be fine. So, they're yeah, off the hook, yeah. So, Willerton versus Joondal up, Joondal up made 8 for 2.30 first week. What do we think? Um, I think there's been some changes in that Willerton side, so I'm going to go with I wish I could look at the teams. I'm going to go with runs on the board and fours, June Luck. I've been singing their praises all night. It would be remiss of me <laughs> to go against them now. I've got to go Willerton. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to go runs on the board with June Luck too. Mm -hmm. And it's another case of playing on the wicket for the second week in a row. It's going to be wear and tear. That same wicket. Yeah. You have to play the same yeah. one. You can't you swap. Extra. Preparations. And my other one that we, I think we said this game would have been a good one to start with anyway. Mm. Last week, last week, yeah. do we say that? Maybe, Probably not to be. Maybe we're ourselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just not a general fourth grade chat. Well, we didn't do it, yeah, of course. Um, but it's Midland Guildford against Perth at Lilac Hill. Perth have batted and made 226 all out. And Midland haven't batted. Like, haven't started it. <laughs> That the start of the winning, so not. <laughs> Once again, we're getting deep into the, uh, the rules of the game. <laughs> I mean, like, they haven't started the winning. <laughs> oh, oh, rule book boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't started. started I'm going to go, I'm going to go, Perth. Perth. Runs on the board. No, I'm going to go Midland to get an open line again. I'm back in. Second week. Yeah. All the preparation so, on the wickets is going to be I'm, nice. <laughs> I'm going to go Perth, runs on the board, and the wicket again might die down a little bit. So, so we, we do it so, for the exact same reason. Brilliant. <laughs> now, if you remember last time um, in the lead up to the Claremont game, we ran a competition where we asked you to guess the uh, the total age sorry, of our fourth grade side against Claremont. We had a winner. Um, so, congratulations to the winner of our stubby holder goes to Chris Davenport. So well done Davo, uh, many congratulations on that. Uh, great guess, great effort. What? <laughs> I, yeah, I, got the, I got the closest right. Ah, yeah, you cheated. You can't, you can't. You've already got two of these as well. Do you want another one? No. No, well done Davo. But you already got one as well, so. Cheap price. So if uh, anyone wants to study, you want study we've got a spare one. Yeah, like <laughs> messages. Oh, should we do a competition this week? Yeah. Should we double it? Should we have two stubby holders? Two stubby holders. No, if, no, Chris just should have that one. Yeah, right. if, he wants, if he wants it, if you have it, he can give it to Amy. Amy. Yeah, Amy. Amy. Oh, Amy. Yeah, Christmas Amy. is coming up, mate. There we Amy. go. Amy. She's a lucky girl. Amy won't like that. Um, <laughs> it's amazing you're single, George. <laughs> Never have. They always go missing, though, when you want one. You're not. Know. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, so. um, what should our competition be this week? Well, like you're <laughs> well, I was thinking to keep it. We guessed the fourth grade team last week. I think we'd keep it in the fourth grade. Yeah. Um, Elijah Tara Smith, Tari, as well known, got six for sixteen last week. What will his figures be this week? Do you think? 
Is that too hard to guess, or do we have to tell you how many wickets he gets? No, it's probably too easy. Wickets, wickets first, and then the runs to the tiebreaker. Okay, yeah, you go, yeah, like figures. Yeah, yeah like full figures. Like okay. maidens, uh, <laughs> overs, no balls, eyes. No, it's just go. Big balls. No, nah, just. No, they, they adopt ball to baller. Ah, good trick. I'm surprised Jordan didn't. I'm surprised Jordan didn't fuck up that. Um, so, I'm just. <laughs> 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 Did you want? No, no. We go, so we go wickets for runs, and then if somebody have two people tied, then we go to what maidens? <laughs> what? What? Two people, two people aren't going to guess the exact. How many people do you think are into this competition? <laughs> it's just going to be you and Dell again. Some of my silly buggers guess the same as someone else, so Okay, no one guessed the same, so we don't have to do that, please. No one guessed the same, it's just runs and wickets. So wickets and runs. Easy game. Are we giving away a second study holder? Yep. Wow, there you go. Better. Till we find something better. Anything called knowledge. Heard there's one knocking around. Um, <laughs> well, amazingly, that's I need to be quite a bit for show fans. I've, I've, I've enjoyed myself. I have fun. Yeah. I have had fun. Um, as always, we finish. I feel actually, ironically, in a show that we've had some fun, this is going to be the least fun bit of it. Yeah. Because. <laughs> We're going to finish with our traditional. <laughs> Where did you get that from, by the way? Jim Frio, Mitt and Bum. They're yeah. not sponsored, so I can't say it. <laughs> it's like the ABC, we're not allowed to mention it. Yeah. Unless you're a sponsor. <laughs> it is exactly like the ABC. I don't know if I've got the savings now. <laughs> if any Bogue place in Frio do want to sponsor the podcast. Okay. It's encouraging, yeah. Um, so we finished with Jordan's joke. Um, we've heard him preparing a few ideas for this. So, Jordan, take it away. Again, it's... I'm not sure if I've told you this one. I might have. But it's the short and sharp one. So, regardless of the people out there, they might still get a tickle out of it, I suppose. Um... <coughs> <laughs> I don't, maybe I shouldn't do it while you're actually like chewing. I, I think we're going to be safe, don't worry about that. Okay. Um, also, whilst, whilst, whilst we have the chance, can we apologise to the poor bloke from Rockingham? Who sat with us in the third grade game? Who had to listen to Jordan's <laughs> joke? <laughs> sat in the hut. Sat in the hut with us the whole time. And Jordan's like, Rocky Yeah. Oh, the Rocky Ham shirt gave him the way. <laughs> 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 yeah. It was bright red. <laughs> Redder than uh, that Melville bloke's helmet. Who <laughs> <laughs> had to listen to Jordan's joke? If you're watching, it's hard to like it. But we do apologise for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, he's going to guess Tari's figures now. <laughs> he wants that stubby holder. We'll take it down to him. Um, <laughs> we'll do the presentation of tea. Thank you very much for watching. Um, again, huge thanks to our friends at CPS Capital for uh, sponsoring all the social media content with the Frio this year. Uh, best luck to all sides in this day two against Rockingham on Saturday. Gents, we'll see you all next week. Thank see you, boys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>